Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given cubic equation 3x power 3 plus 21x square equals to 3888. And eventually, we are going to check it for any extraneous solution as well. And keep in your mind that x are our real numbers. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. If we scan this given cubic equation we can see that all of these terms are divisible by 3. So let me go ahead and divide each and every term by 3 across the board. And here's our new cubic equation once we have divided everything by 3 x power 3 plus 7x square equals to 1296. Now we are going to solve it by grouping and factoring. And if we focus on this uh, equation, the left hand side, this part is uh, cubic. So therefore, we are going to manipulate this number into two numbers. Let me go ahead and write down 729 plus uh, 5. 67 such that this 729 could be written as 9 power 3 and here in this next step i have this uh, 1296 into 729 plus uh, 567 and now this equation could be written as x power 3 plus uh, 7x square equal to i'm going to replace this one by 9 power 3 all right i'm going to do that thing and plus 567 and now let's go ahead and move all these terms on the left hand side so let's go ahead and do that thing i'm going to write down x power 3 and this become negative 9 power 3 and then plus 7x square and then minus 567 equals to zero and now we are going to chunk this one by just putting parentheses around x power 3 minus 9 power 3 and now let's recall this well-known formula a cube minus b cube we are going to apply over here so this could be written as x minus 9 times x square plus 9x plus 9 square is same as 81 and now let's focus on these last two terms we can see that 7 is in common so therefore i am going to factor out positive 7 and we are ended up with x square minus 81 equals to 0 and in this next step i have changed this 81 to 9 square and now let's recall this famous identity a square minus b square we are going to apply on this part so this could be written as x minus 9 times x plus 9 so therefore we can write this whole equation as x minus 9 times x square plus 9x plus 81 plus 7 times x minus 9 times x plus 9 equal to 0 and now we can see that x minus 9 and x minus 9 is in common so we are going to factor out x minus 9 and inside this bracket i'm going to write down this uh, x square plus 9x uh, plus uh, 81 plus uh, we are left on the right hand side over here 7 times x plus 9 equal to 0 and in this next step i have distributed 7 with this one x plus 9 so this becomes 7x plus 63 and the rest is same and now let's go ahead and combine the like terms 9x and 7x is going to become 16x and 81 and 63 is going to give us 144 and now let's go ahead and separate these two factors so the first one is going to be x minus 9 equal to 0 and the other one is going to be x square 
plus 16 x plus 144 equal to 0 if we focus on this very first equation that is going to give us x equals to positive 9 and that is our one of the solutions to this cubic equation and now let's focus on this other quadratic equation and I have copied it down and now let's recall this quadratic formula and let's focus on this uh, radicant b square minus uh, 4ac and this b square minus 4ac is called discriminant and now we are going to find the discriminant of this given quadratic equation now let's go ahead and calculate the discriminant b square minus 4ac where our a value is 1, b is 16 and c is 144. So that is going to become 16 square minus 4 times a is 1, c is 144. So our discriminant turns out to be a negative 320. And here's our discriminant table. If we look at this thing, our discriminant is a negative number. So therefore, we are not going to have any real solution to this quadratic equation. So therefore, we conclude that this quadratic equation has no real solution. So the only solution we have got is x equal to 9. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and check our solution for x equal to 9. So for that reason, I'm going to replace each and every x by 9 over here and x by 9 over here as well and see if the left hand side is equal to right hand side. Let's go ahead and do that one. So 3 times 9 power 3 plus 21 times 9 power 2 question mark. Is it equal to 3800? and 88 and now we can see that 9 power 3 turns out to be a 729 and likewise 9 square is 81 over here and we are going to see whether this left hand side equals to the right hand side and if we multiply 3 times 729 we are going to get 2187 and 21 times 81 is going to give us 1701. And now we can see that the left hand side is indeed equal to right hand side. So therefore this is a true statement. Thus we conclude that x equal to 9 is our valid solution. So thus our only solution turns out to be x equal to 9. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.